Lord, have mercy. Daniel, look at you right here at my door. You by yourself, Daniel? I am. Oh, that's good. That's good, isn't it? It is good. Can I hug you, Daniel? for you now, Daniel. It's been a bit of an adjustment, but uh, things are looking up. Hey, your mama must be beside herself. It was a big shock for her at first, but uh, she's, she's cautiously optimistic. Well, mama's got to hold some things back with y'all. You know. Yes. <laughs> Boys. <laughs> We're a mother to death. Mm. Kerwin wanted me to come and see you when I got out. Is that right? He said, not if, but when, Daniel. Had faith, did he? Oh, yes, ma'am. And once he got something in his head... I... Oh, no, that's right. He was that way even as a little old thing. <laughs> First, you got to stop in at Mr. Gill's grocery store and get yourself an orange. <laughs> <soda. laughs> Kerwin loved anything orange. Now, oh, yeah. The color, the taste, even the word. He used to call it orange when he was young. <laughs> <laughs> then he'd say, you got to go across the street to Mama's house, and she's going to squeeze the air right out of you, too. <laughs> to get ready. Oh, he wasn't lying there, Daniel. Well, who hugs without squeezing? Not you, Mama. Oh, first of all, you know. <laughs> he'd say it so often and with such conviction that uh, sometimes I could actually see myself walking here. Right to your door. And then you did, Daniel. It's just like my baby said. Your mom must be so happy. How could you win up so much? Oh, come on, Mom. Don't, don't. I just... I know. I just can't help thinking about my baby. Mama Daniel's not like Kerwin, okay? He didn't do nothing. No, I guess he did. I guess he didn't. Sorry, I, I have a um, have a bus to catch. Yeah, no. Thank you. Uh, yes, Mr. Heading. Oh, please don't don't rush off. Mrs. Whitman. Yes, Daniel. Thank you for. Um, Thank you. 